Hey guys, Mitch and Ames here from the Mad Rig. Um, if you don't know who we are, we're just a young travel family that's touring around Oz. We've, we've owned a Patriot, we've had our X1 for about five years. Um, we like to drag it down some of the most gnarly tracks in Australia. Exploring, adventuring, um, four wheel driving is who we are, it's what we do. We love it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Mitch and Ames from. <laughs> That's what you said to say. Didn't say to shout at the people. Hey. This is why we don't vlog. Take four. Today we're going to run you through our X1 and um, a couple of questions. Like why we chose to buy a Patriot in the first place and the reasons why we chose to go an X1 over any other trailer. To start off, I reckon like number one, the main reason we bought a Patriot was because we just wanted something small and compact, um, lightweight that would follow us anywhere we went. Like back then, we were chasing some pretty hard tracks, and um, I actually swore we'd never tow a trailer. But yeah. um, look at us now. When when rides came along and we had a heap more gear to carry, it was kind of a no-brainer that we had to go that way. And yeah, the the Patriot was sort of the only thing that ticked all the boxes. And still to this day, I've never had to unhitch the trailer. When we get ourselves into a sticky situation, it's never held us back from any of the tracks that we've we've not, tackled. Not once. Yeah. Literally not once have you unhitched. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah. And also the Patriot brand, I reckon. Yeah. Was a big reason why we chose. Australia, to go that Australian way. made, yeah. good quality, just to yeah. rip a little trailer. Where did we hear about Patriot? Well, that's probably a good thing to I touch on. Instagram. Um, no, because Instagram wasn't that big back when we bought the trailer. Yeah, we were watching videos when they first came out. I think it might have been YouTube. YouTube, probably, yeah. It okay. was the first YouTube video we saw with them dragging all the gear up and down. Yeah, that was like before Patriot the Games. It, it was, was just like... It was all the Cape York stuff. The Patriot fam, just... And it was what we watched was someone doing like the, the, the harder old tracks telly, yeah. and, and challenging and like seeing them drag all their gear and capable trailers and, you know. Yeah. It was one of the only... They were only the only off-road trailers yeah. back then that we knew about. Cap I, I still kind of feel like they are still. I haven't seen anything that compares to them. Like we, we saved only up. just had Ryder, yeah. and we really wanted a Patriot. We always did. Yeah. But we couldn't afford one at the time, and so we put it off, put it off, and it wasn't until Ryder was two that we were like, okay, we're not enjoying camping as much as we know we can. It could be, yeah. Um, and to us, like the money slowly became not that big of a factor to how easy our life would have been camping so um we looked into it alone and just made it happen and it's the best thing we ever did we yeah, always, I always said, say i wish we did it sooner we wish we did it the two years before because um yeah, yeah. as soon as Ryder came along having, oh, the, having the three of us that would have made life with a baby so there. much yeah. easier can i give you the questions can you yell them out and you yell them out, and then we'll just talk about it. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Hang, hang on, come here. Let's just show no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm not here. On that, what made you choose a Patriot over other trailers? What were you looking for in a trailer? I think um, reliability was a big one. We wanted a reliable trailer. Yeah, something. We didn't want something that was, you know, going to need to be replaced within a year or two years. Um, Buy we it wanted once, buy it right, yeah. yeah long term, um, we saw the quality was there, and then also I just feel like off road. There's no other trailer that we, yeah, we knew about. Like we've done so much, we've we've dragged it down. High country. All Victorian high country. We've done all the Tassie like climbies track and that with the trailer on. Yeah. Um, we've done the Simpson Desert Crossing. 
We've driven up Big Red. We've driven up Big Red with the trailer yeah. on. Like just um, literally anywhere the mad rig has gone, the trailer's followed us. Which is exactly what we wanted. What's your favourite place that you've taken your favourite for? I can't favorite, answer that one. Favourite place or favourite track? In saying that though. Uh, one of our favourite tracks has been Climbies Track in Tassie. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's, like, that's like number one track I've ever driven. That was pretty pretty epic. The um, views were amazing. The yeah, track was amazing. Ocean on one side, mountains on the other, and it was just this epic full drive track the whole way across and had some cool yeah, obstacles. It was the best. And, yeah. Wasn't too hard, wasn't too easy, it was perfect. Yeah. In saying that though, just that remember it, this is it. it would be so like I, picking climbers it would be too hard to pick one. Like the amount of places that we've gone and the, the ground that we've covered the places we've camped, like we've had the, the trailer, the whole setup camped on the edge of the ocean. Yeah, we've had beaches, mountain tops, bush camps, river crossings, bush ev camps. Everywhere. How many um, nights would you have done? Oh, that's a tough one. Rough. I reckon roughly. Well, how many nights is in six months on the road? 180. So I reckon double it. Yeah, I reckon we've done a full year. I, I'd call it 500 nights. I reckon we've spent. <laughs> 500. 180, double it. 500. <laughs> 190? No, and so. 180 times 2 is not 500. Yeah, I understand that, but it's. And then add some more. It's not Did you just. You build a car? <laughs> <laughs> you build a whole car. Simple arithmetic. I do maths, alright? Just some simple okay. maths. <laughs> Around a full year, I reckon, every single night. Maths for a full with an year. F. Maths with an F. I'm good at maths. <laughs> at least. Yeah, I reckon at least a full year. So 300. And so how many nights would it, how, how many nights do you reckon you've done on a Patriot? 360 odd, you reckon? Yeah. Reckon. 400. <laughs> 400. 400. 400 nights. They're um, all funny. And do you find the X1 hard to set up and pack up? No. No, hell no. It's an absolute breeze. And we both... We have our jobs. We have our jobs and like we can... I can have you and rides in Justin bed. Justin was pretty impressed with our Yeah, that was, that setup. was sick. Yeah. Um, we can have you and rides in bed in like two minutes. I like how you say rides and I. What do you do after? <laughs> I'll have a few beers. <laughs> yeah. No, if we pull in late somewhere and it's just a basic setup, it's like a couple of minutes and we're, we're in bed. Yeah, we're it's in bed. It's perfect. All the bedding's still in there. And, and then even when we are staying somewhere for like a couple of days and we're still in a full setup, it's only like... 10 15 minute setup at max. Yeah, yeah. And how would that compare to how you've camped in the past? Oh, majorly. It used to take us, what, 30 45 minutes? Yeah, well, we've had a few different setups before the trailer, which were. I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere. Well, before Ryder, it was easy. Roll out a swag on the back of a ute. Um, we had our esky, and it was just. Back in the day. <laughs> yeah, it, easy, um, but very minimalist. And then. When we we had, went to the Oz tent and that was rider, a bit of... Accumulate so much more stuff and then you're playing Tetris in the back of the car trying to make it all fit. And then you've got to pull everything out to get to something. Nothing set up, ready to go. Which is oh, where that man. the trailer comes in. Like you, Everything's just on hand, ready to go. I was not allowed to touch the back of the car before. Which is like, <laughs> yeah. no, everything has a spot and if you pull that out, everything's yeah. going to fall out. On, it's, it was pretty, just... it's, it's amazing how much stuff is crammed into this trailer. Like, everything you need is right there, ready to go all the time. And then we can unhitch and then go for a day trip without, without the car all being our fully stuff. loaded. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big yeah. thing too. We couldn't go full driving before without our car being super heavy. Yeah. So. And how long can you stay off grid without power? As long as we want. Uh, yeah, we've got solar. If as long sol as the sun's if out, the solar's out <laughs> we're yeah. sweet. But I reckon if the sun wasn't out and we didn't have solar, three, four days. Yeah, four days, kind of. I reckon. Charging everything, fridges running. Yeah. Um, lights at night. Which is pretty good, really. Like. But if we've got good sun and solar, you can stay out for as long as. As long as you can. As long as you yeah. can. Like, what's the most that we've spent in one spot? Probably be two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Camped up. Yeah. But that's only because sun eventually went. Yeah, but I, I think it was it time to move longer. on after being in somewhere for, two, been somewhere for two, two weeks. It's time to go explore some more places, yeah. yeah. Uh, would you recommend the X1 to a family with two kids? 100%. 150%, 150% yeah, yeah, definitely. 
Okay, one um, kid, two kids. Well, we've only done it with one kid, obviously, but we don't. We chose not to use the kids' room with our X one, um, just because it was another thing. But just for ease of use, yeah. Uh, there, there was a handful of times where we're like, oh, it would have been nice. Kids' to room have. would be handy to have that extra space. Yeah. But with rides and us, it was perfect to just fold the tent down. Rides slept at the bottom, um, and then that was all we had to do. Whereas if you had two kids, I reckon you'd tap kid, on the kids', kids room, room and then. It, gets them into their own space. I think it doesn't add that much time on either. No, well you can kids still pack room. the kids room away with the tent. Attached, yeah. yeah, so. yeah. Can you pack the bedding away with the tent? Yeah, definitely you can pack the bedding away with the tent. You pack yeah. everything away in the trailer, which is amazing. Well, here we have everything. We had riders. Um, air mattress. Air mattress. All riders doona, bedding. Pillow sheets. All our bedding. Our bedding, pil two pillows. Yeah, there's so much sheets. room under the under the soft bag yeah. that you can fit heaps of stuff Everything. under there. Uh, what's fuel economy like? Pretty good. Well, I'm the worst person to talk to about fuel economy. <laughs> <laughs> it'd only be an extra couple of litres per hundred. It, it'd be bugger all. And we're up there anyway because I have a heavy foot and, and I build the car to yeah. go fast. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. But, but it, it wouldn't be, it's definitely well, not what, excessive. What is it? It's about um, 17. 17 is not, not towing, and then it'd be like 20. Not towing. So, what's your favourite thing about your X1? The my, whole thing. <laughs> my favourite thing about the X1 would be the storage in the back. That is so good. You can just, you just shove chuck everything anything in there. In. Yeah. It's so handy, and it never gets blocked, and you can always just pull anything out that you need. But I think one of my most, most favorite things about the X1 would be when you're camped somewhere and you can open all the windows and you're oh, sitting yeah. high up and we've you're just it. like, especially on the beach. We've had it on the beach hundreds of times. And you're just laying in your yep. bed on the top of the trailer and it's just, you can't beat that, I reckon. Yeah, I love definitely. that, that's my favorite thing. But also just the ease of use, like everything's there right where you need it. Like nothing's, there's no Tetris to get anything in and out. Yeah, yeah. Drop the table, d drop the door down, and it's a table, and the kitchen in it's bloody awesome. Like, yeah. you know, the fridge with the drawer, the sink, everything's there. You don't have to go looking for a cooker. You don't have to look for. You can tell that you used to have to Tetris the car. Not yeah, me. definitely. <laughs> My favorite thing's the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is like it's so easy. Yeah. And then. Uh, maybe the comfort of the bed. The bed's f***ing comfy. Yeah, done. There we go. <laughs> the, 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 like, nailed it. Literally. <laughs> the bed's huge. It's, we, it's massive. Like we have rides sometimes when we couldn't be stuffed set up his airbag. And we sleep sideways. And we, three of us are up in there. The, the bed is huge. Have you ever come close to rolling your trailer <laughs> or taking your trailer down, tra down tracks you probably shouldn't have? Definitely. Yeah. But we we push the Far limits. Far out. Considering what we take that thing down. Yeah. And the way you drive it. I'm surprised I, it, blows it hasn't me away. rolled. Every single time that we get this thing off-road, it blows me away. Yeah. There's two occasions I can think of when we were down at Bruni Island and we were going down the dirt road. And um, oh, I that, think... because the ABS on the car The ABS up. on the car <laughs> locked up. And it whipped the trailer. And it whipped the trailer. Like, that was so close to rolling. <laughs> and somehow Mitch managed to manoeuvre it back, but it didn't flip. Jake was close. watching that. He was following us, watching. Yeah, and then the only other time was like, like it wasn't really a roll, but on that with go four wheel drive track, we came like, like that close. No, you know the one time. Like hitting. There's there's footage. You can probably throw it in, but it was going down climbies, and I stopped the car, and we were like, oh look at that! And oh, it was like cars actually, doing yeah, that, trailers doing one. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first time you've seen the mirror. Yeah, you've seen I, the awning. Yeah, seen the awning in my mirror, and I was like. <laughs> Oh, that's meant to be on that yeah. side. Yeah, so three yeah. occasions, but... Yeah, in saying that though... We were always... I mean, that one we weren't in control, but that was a road thing, so... Yeah, but, but that's, why we, that's why we... We have not, we have not rolled Never a trailer. rolled a trailer. Touch wood, where's some wood. <laughs> <laughs> but that's exactly why we bought that's it. Grass. We bought it to follow us. <laughs> we bought it to follow us down the hardest tracks we could find, and that's our sort of style of adventure and our camping and the way we like to do stuff, so we'll always be out there pushing the limits and and trying to get where you know the places that people can't get to just the the stability of the trailer is just they've done it so well yeah there's they? been oh, there's been a couple of times too actually which is super handy having the airbags because you'd be on this crazy angle and 
just recently we've stopped oh, and got out yeah, and yeah. Aired, up, aired up one side of the trailer to bring it up. Yeah, because there was this rock overhanging and like it just was going to hit it if we kept going forward. Yeah. So we aired down you the jumped, other side. You jumped out, aired down one side, aired up and it just straightened the trailer up and yeah. we came through. Worked perfectly. Yeah. Awesome. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> um, last one would be touring versus hardcore tracks. What's it perform best in? Um, both, both. The same. Yeah, both. Touring or hardcore tracks, like it's much of a muchness. It's built think, for both. I think we used to go and chase the hardcore tracks because that was sort of where we were at the, at the time, like five years ago. But I think now that we've sort of I don't know, that's slowed down a little bit and we're just really slowing down and getting into more touring stuff yeah. and um, just exploring all of the country yeah. and going and staying in spots longer. Like we used to when we bought the trailer, we're <laughs> in a spot once every night and it was like set up, pack down, set up, pack down every day and it was never a problem. We loved but, it. But, but now, yeah, we did love that. We're getting old. <laughs> now it's like slowing down, finding those spots and like stopping for at least a week and, and taking it all in. Yeah. Performs effortlessly in touring and off-road. Yeah, yeah. No complaints. Cool. We're going to do it. Hope you guys found that helpful. Um, we're still having heaps of adventures. We're on the road full time now, so um, plenty heaps, more to come. Heaps more of us to see, heaps more adventures. Yeah. Keep doing what we do. Always in a patriot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. let, let's wrap this up with a little highlight reel of some epic places that we've taken our setup. MX1, yeah. Oh, Ew. Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just do it again? <laughs>